Hey, y'all, Gravity, any day above ground livid. So you already know what to do. Share, like, and subscribe. That's right, share, like, and subscribe because I'm not like other YouTubers. I'm different. So the other day I was on my iPhone and you know how you when you swipe right all the way, you get a, I guess, that page where it has like the widgets and you get like news blurbs. I saw this story about the Clean Water Act and how SCOTUS, as their first session back, they can rule on this case, Sackett v. EPA, and it could have widespread ramifications for clean water in this country. So basically, this story is a Idaho couple named Chantel and Michael Sackett. They've been going head to head with the EPA for 15 years over the ability to build on their land that they own. And the EPA telling them they can't because their property is right by a lake that's protected under the Clean Water Act. And, you know, the EPA, they're, they're, I think they're saying that all, with all the building materials and the waste that's going to go into building the house there, it could damage the lake, which I believe feeds into a bigger body of water. And like I said, they've been raging this war for 15 years and they've had advocacy groups on both sides fighting their case and fighting for the EPA. So it calls into question the Clean Water Act. And I said, let me do some research on this. And basically, the Clean Water Act is supposed to regulate pollutants and waste going into the nation's rivers and streams because a lot of them feed into bigger bodies of water and vice versa, especially along the Gulf Coast, um, especially up in the northwest sector of the country. And... No, I'm all for clean water. But this also got me to thinking about Jackson. Because, you know, Jackson, Mississippi had their issue with clean water. And apparently a couple of weeks ago, they finally had clean water back in their pipes. I know it's not a permanent. Like it's not a fix across the board, but that was good news to hear. But as I was searching through that. I found something very interesting way back in April. All right, so we're on the EPA website and apparently the city of Jackson, way back in 2012, settled with the EPA over the Clean Water Act. Now for those, again, the Clean Water Act regulates streams and rivers across the country make sure they stay as clean as possible so as it feeds into other bigger bodies of water clean water will be available for people and animals and wildlife i guess and plant life so let's read washington dc november 21st 2012 the u.s epa environment Mental Protection Agency, the Department of Justice and the Mississippi Department of Environmental Quality announced today a comprehensive Clean Water Act settlement with the city of Jackson, Mississippi. Jackson has agreed to make improvements to its sewer systems to eliminate unauthorized overflows of untreated raw sewage, raw sewage and unauthorized bypasses of treatment at the Savannah Street Wastewater Treatment Plant, the city's largest wastewater treatment facility. So overview of municipality, the city of Jackson, Mississippi owns and operates a separate sanitary sewer system. Jackson system includes the Savannah Street, includes the Savannah Street, Presidential Hills and Trahan or Tra yeah, Trahan wastewater treatment plants and a wastewater collection and transmission system violations. So they had violations, folks. 
Jackson violated Section 301 of the Clean Water Act in terms and conditions of its National Pollution Pollutant Discharge Elimination System (MPDES) permits. Jackson's alleged violations include over 2,300 sanitary sewer overflows, prohibited bypasses, operation and maintenance failures, and effluent limit violations. Injunctive relief. The proposed consent decree will require Jackson to implement comprehensive injunction relief, injunctive relief within approximately 18 years, with the majority of the work being done in the first 11 years. When the injunctive release is implemented, the settlement will help reduce direct exposure of rural sewage to low income populations in Jackson. The remedial measures include early action projects at Jackson's water wastewater treatment plants. Evaluation and rehabilitation of Jackson's wastewater collection and transmission system. Development and implementation of a performance evaluation and composite correction program for the Savannah Street Wastewater Treatment Plant. And development and implementation of programs to ensure proper capacity management operations and maintenance of the sewer system. Pollutant reductions. Five point, almost 5.7 million pounds of total suspended solids, almost five and a half million pounds of biological oxygen demand, 883,993 pounds of total nitrogen, and 126,285 pounds total phosphorus. Health and environmental effects, total suspended solids, they explain there. I'll just leave that for a second, let you read that yourselves. civil penalty. Jackson will pay a total of $437,916 as a civil penalty for its Clean Water Act violations to the United States and the state of Mississippi. Jackson will pay its civil penalty over a 19-month period. Jackson also agreed to spend $875,000 on a supplemental environmental project in low-income areas in the city. The penalty in this case was derived according to the Clean Water Act settlement penalty policy. State partners, the state of Mississippi is a co plaintiff. Comment period. Um, over once the proposed consent decree is lodged with the court, the settlement will be subject to a 30 day public comment period. Information on submitting comment is available at the Department of Justice website. And that's who is over, I guess, who's the liaison contact, Carol DeMarco for the Water Enforcement Division of the EPA. All right, so Jackson has been shuffling its feet for the last 10 years, fixing the water over there. All right, let me know what you think down in the comments, and I'm sure in the live stream as well. But anyway, let me get up out of here. You already know what to do. Share, like, and subscribe. That's right, share, like, and subscribe, because I'm not like other YouTubers. I'm different. Take care, stay safe, I'm out.